what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video we're going to be talking about jeepers creepers 4 jeepers creepers are born and who i think peter brooks character is actually going to end up being in the film or some possibilities another possibility because i've talked about this character in the past peter brook will be starring in the film as a character named Stu, and he posted this late last year on his instagram page and i'm assuming this is him in character on set of jeepers creepers were born the caption of this image on instagram said oh the things i will do to you when i find you in the past i speculated that this could be jack taggart jr uh but let's throw in this other idea real quick as you saw in the thumbnail we're going to be talking about darla cleaway uh we know in the original film that trisha and Derry, before Derry ended up going down into that pipe and finding the carcasses or the bodies the remains of kenny and darla the prom king and queen from wheaton valley who went missing 23 years ago they didn't find anything of them other than the other than the car that they crashed their bodies uh were just gone and of course we found out when the when dairy went into the creepers church layer the basement cellar that the creeper was actually the one responsible for their demise they were stitched up together and they had the wheaton valley ring on to prove that that was in fact kenny and darla so my idea regarding Stu is that Stu is somehow going to end up being Darla Cleway's little brother. Darla Cleway, out of that Kenny and Brandon dynamic, since in Jeepers Creepers 3, we kind of got some some aspect of a backstory to Kenny. That leaves Darla now as the only person out of that couple who doesn't really have any familial ties that have been introduced in the series just yet until of course now if this theory of mine ends up being true so just let's say that Stu is actually Stu Cleway but let's take it even a step further Stu Cleway has another connection we also know that in this film D Wallace will be in it and she'll be portraying a character named Marie I've talked about this in another video. The character's name, Ron and Marie. I've actually sent some of you the image of Dee Wallace that was uh, shown of her in the film itself. Ron and Marie will be a old, presumably married couple. As a description read on this uh, film, film production listing website read, Ron and Marie are going to be going home one sunday afternoon from a church service most likely uh mo maybe it's an easter sunday or something like that and they are ran off the road by an unseen assailant and then they follow said unseen assailant to a nearby farmhouse where they find unspeakable horrors and they are never seen or heard from again as a result i think that's what the synopsis was reading like and then, of course, an image came out to reinforce that Ron and Marie seems to actually be a thing for the actual film because those production listing sites aren't always actually that correct. But as you all know, there was also a script page that was leaked that included the names Ron and Marie. So Ron and Marie are indeed going to be characters in this film, or at least it would appear to be. There's nothing but evidence pointing towards that. Marie is most likely going to be portrayed by D. Wallace. Now, the important thing there is that, again, those are just two first names. They still do not have any last names. They're just Ron and Marie. I'm taking my Stu idea. Stu Cleway could be relatives to Ron and Marie because Ron and Marie are actually Ron and Marie Cleway, the parents of Darla. Thus making Stu, if this ends up being the case, Stu would be the only surviving relative of his family while his other relatives have unfortunately fallen victim to the creeper now it would be his parents that have fallen victim so over the course of his childhood Stu has been of course trying to figure out what happened to his older sister on her prom night he's heard the myths and the legends about the creeper he's aware of the creeper being on display in the taggart barn etc etc he's actually been planning to see if the legend is in fact true um 23 years ago back in 2001 because by that time if carla if darla really did have a younger brother back in 2001 kenny would have been not kenny but Stu would have been of age however she just he just wouldn't have been necessarily i guess interested in finding the creeper at that point in time for one reason or another because he was still just focusing on whatever it is that he was focusing on in his life uh 
but let's say that now the year is 2024 he's had a couple more years and time to think about this revenge plot in his head to get revenge for not only now his younger sister or his older sister in this case but his parents who are unfortunately going to be the resumed opening kill victims for jeepers creepers reborn as they venture out to this farmhouse and find these unspeakable horrors and they're never seen or heard from again now Stu, being Stu, again, I'm just giving him a backstory at this point. He could have been still residing with his parents for whatever reason. And during his digging of legends and myths regarding the Creeper in Poho County and the myth that is the Creeper in this general area of East Nine, he was trying to convince them that this is what is responsible for the death of Darla all those years ago. They're not believing it. They're not believing it, of course. And then they go out and end up getting unfortunately killed by this thing after a church service one Sunday evening, sadly. So then this would only fuel Stu with nothing but more heartbreak to go out there and get revenge for the creeper like he had already been planning to do. So let me know what you guys think about this honestly down in the comment section i know a lot of you are a big fan of the idea of jeepers creepers 3 since it was already a prequel in and of itself but instead of being a creep a prequel to jeepers creepers 2 we've we've talked about how it would have been much better for it to be a prequel to the first two films in general and just take us back to 1978 with the wheaton valley king and king and queen um kenny and darla and then on top of that like i said earlier Darla is the only person out of the Kenny and Darla narrative that hasn't had any familial ties introduced into this series just yet until of course this film if that is in fact who Stu ends up being I'm just throwing out another idea for who Stu could be Stu could be someone completely different that still is related to Ron and Marie to some degree like he could be their son but it has nothing to do with Darla Cleway I'm just now making all of these characters that don't have any last names related to Darla Cleway and then making Stu the only person out of his family tree that's the only person that had been killed by the creeper and now he wants to go out and get revenge on behalf of his entire family but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below what do you think about that ties i've created for Stu and darla and ron and marie for the upcoming jeepers creepers 4 film if you haven't already make sure you subscribe turn on post notification miss a video in the description i have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me see any movies news or reviews i would cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video